Hello everyone. So for today's video, I have a little science, a little medical, and a little beauty, all wrapped in one, about the Biteri Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. I have been raving about it, and I figured I'd come and give you a little review, and share my thoughts, and give you a little background on what it is, how it works, the science behind it, and all that fun stuff. Let's do it. So firstly, I want to tell you who and what by Terry is. Other than it being insanely expensive, there is more to it. There is a reason for the pricing and there is a reason for the quality behind this brand. In 1988, Terry de Gunsberg, if I pronounce that correctly, if not, I'm going to list it. So I don't offend anyone because I'm not here to do that. So in 1988, she launched the by Terry brand. It was her own line of beauty and skincare. She had worked with high and haute couture beauty for 15 years. Now in her line, she uses only the finest ingredients and the latest in high performance products. I was sold right there. <laughs> One of the first things that I ever purchased from the brand was, I believe, an eyeshadow palette. And I was just blown away by the quality, the performance. So I went ahead and bought another eyeshadow palette. And then I bought a blush, and another blush, and another blush. And then I bought a concealer. And then I was like, why don't I try a setting powder? I feel like a concealer and setting powder for the under eye would go hand in hand. Plus, I had been in the market looking for something new, something that would not look cakey, something that was a lot lighter, something that didn't look like I was wearing a pound of stuff under my eyes. Now, I am getting older, so I'm starting to look for products that have benefits to them, along with them being a makeup. So, brings us to the Hyaluronic Hydra Powder. This powder it's colorless, it's micro fine hyaluronic acid performing powder. Mm -hmm. It claims to erase blemishes, blur fine lines, and smooth down to a matte finish. It sets your makeup without drying the skin and it also claims a long lasting effect. Now I have been using this product for a while now and I can definitely say what it has done and what it has not done based on those claims. Firstly, when it comes to blurring fine lines, I don't really think that there is a powder that will ever do that. What this has done is it has made my fine lines where around my mouth and the little ones that I have under my eyes, it does help them look less visible. It does not completely get rid of them. It just helps them to look a little more smooth and not as noticeable on the skin. As far as the matte finish aspect of it, absolutely. I have an oily T-zone and the rest of my skin is either normal or dry depending on the weather and I can say that this definitely, definitely keeps you matte. I like to use it to set my under eye and my T-zone and all over my face. Um, it does keep you matte. It's not an over matte where you look flat and dead. It's almost like a semi matte where it's not luminous but it's not 150% matte if you know what I mean. So when it comes to those claims they are absolutely true. Now as far as it being colorless, it's so finely micro milled. Once I put it on my skin and blend it in, it disappears. It does not have any color whatsoever and I really really like that about it because whenever I have used white colored powders in the past that claim to be colorless, there was something that was left on my skin. I, I, you would see white against my skin tone. But once this is blended into the skin, your body heat, it just melds and looks flawless and beautiful. Now, the, the part where it talks about it not drying the skin, yes. When I put it, there are some powders that you can put on and your skin starts to feel really tight and it feels like it's caked. It feels like your pores are clogged and it just feels heavy on the skin. This does not do that. It feels very light, very comfortable, and you can definitely feel that your skin can still breathe. That's how light and comfortable it is on the skin. Now let's get into the little science behind what hyaluronic, hyaluronic 
is and what it has to do and the benefits of it being in this product. Now the word hyaluronic comes from the full term hyaluronic acid. Now hyaluronic acid is something found in the body already and that is something you can find in your joints to help lubricate. You may not know this but I have a medical background. I worked in the medical field for seven years prior to coming into the beauty industry. So <laughs> I sometimes really can get into this stuff. So um, I'm gonna kind of warn you in advance that I might get a little you know, but I want to inform you as much as I can so that you can fully understand why I love this product so much, why it does what it does, why it claims what it claims, and why I am happy, and why I see what it does, and how it does, why it does, who it does, why, you, ah, you know what I mean? Okay, so anyways, hyaluronic acid is something already found in your body. It helps lubricate your joints. It is the key component in connective tissue. Now when I put it in a powder form, it helps to create a barrier that will help hold on to moisture and what that will do is help create a more full youthful appearance in the skin that's why they can say about the the blurring of the lines filling in the fine lines and the blemishes and so forth so on that is where and how that comes to be now why is hyaluronic acid important as we get older it's important because as we get older our moisture levels change. I'm not gonna say we get dry, but we sort of kind of do. We don't produce as much moisture. Our cell turnover is different. Things really, really change as we get older. Well, hyaluronic acid, it plays a pretty important role in its ability to retain moisture in the skin. With the hyaluronic acid in the actual product, that's what helps with the blurring of the lines and giving your skin that flawless finish because it's giving you that moisture and plump fullness that the skin needs without it being overly drying and it, with it helping to set the makeup and keep it in place. The packaging is very simple, nothing overly fancy. It does twist off to a sifter and you just tap your brush in, knock off the excess and have at it. So overall, I recommend this product. I never try to come on here and sell you something because that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm, I just feel like if I go out and I find something that I feel like is serious and I dig up all the claims and all that's involved and all the this and the that and the science behind it and the yada 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 and I really feel that it's worth raving about, I'm going to tell you. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Stay beautiful and I'll see you again soon. Bye!